this is hot news hot hot news off of the press concerning the people over there on the lovely fire and the kids subreddit so they've come to the conclusion some people that this brendan shaw european tour that he's meant to be on that i fucking bought tickets to i'm not lying i actually bought tickets to this brendan shaw guys uk tour and it looks like some guys on the Friday the Kids subreddit have surmised that it's off. They're saying that some of the shows may be cancelled, specifically the London show. And it's fucking driving me insane because I spent fucking £30 to watch this giant redact on stage because I wanted to be that... I didn't want to be that guy because I think somebody told me on my Discord, it may have been Amy, maybe somebody else, maybe Ucha, I'm not too sure who it was, but somebody said something like, oh, you can't talk shit unless you actually watch the stuff you then you can talk shit because i think i was consuming a lot of clips and stuff and taking stuff out of context but you have to actually watch things in order to be able to dissect it properly and i think when i think about the people doing it at the highest levels right the red bars out of this world again you cannot like red bar but in terms of really dissecting these comedian guys and really kind of giving some interesting takes and stuff and be able to pull some interesting things and see things to what they are he does it really well but he also consumes a lot of these guys content he actually is reading it right so so, with that being said, I decided to do something that I probably would have never done and bought a ticket to this guy's show. Especially when you consider that he's probably one of the people in the comedy circles that overcharges for his tickets. Because he's not a £30 guy at all. He's definitely a £20 guy, right? But he's definitely not £30. £30 should be getting you like the higher ups, the Anthony Jesselnix and all those type of dudes should be charging 30 And maybe if you're more famous, 50 and above. If you're Rogan doing arenas and Chappelle, I understand 100. Obviously, it's not to do with their comedy, whether it's figures funny, but sort of level of celebrity, level of fame, notoriety, blah, blah, blah. Years in the game makes sense. But Brendan has no business charging 30 quid for a ticket. I don't think so, personally. My opinion. I don't think he's worth £30. But I did it anyway cool now people are saying on a fucking fire and the kids sub that this show in london that i fucking bought tickets to on june 22nd might be off and, and there's been a lot of talk about it it's on a fire and the kids sub and i have to give those guys credit and i've been fighting against it but it's been a constant story happening over the couple last couple of days and weeks and whatnot and this one screenshot i'm showing you for somebody posted on a fire and the kids subreddit shows the title is following three weeks out and around 400 tickets sold for a 2,500 seater venue sell out by my account glasgow is about to be thick so the, the 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 show that's been meant to be happening in glasgow in the 2,500 seater venue has only sold 400 tickets and if you're checking this map yourself for the seating plan what you will see here is that the seats in grey are the ones that have been sold. So the seats in uh, blue are the ones that are unsold. But I've also heard from people, which is sad in this regard, that a lot of these big comedians, famous guys, have scalpers or there's a, there's a big scalping scene. And what they'll do is that they'll sometimes buy seats in blocks and then sell them, try and resell them to make some money. So the ticket sales could be worse because these could be a large portion of these tickets could have been bought by one or two people who bought blocks of tickets hoping to resell them because this is Brendan Shaw, he's a Joe Rogan alumni guy, blah, 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 blah. So this can't, this maybe isn't an accurate representation of the people that actually are buying the tickets and if it's really going to be full in there. But optics-wise, just imagine how fucking discouraging it's going to be for Brendan to jump on a flight 10 plus or so hours over here to northern ireland or not over here but to go to northern ireland to go to republic of ireland come down to glasgow in scotland then come down to fucking uk um come out here to fucking london and be standing on stage in front of 400 people or maybe 250 actual people that would be gonna be there and loads of empty seats from the tickets that the resellers weren't able to sell so i can understand why a lot of people in the t5k sub are saying he's got to cancel because he does this all the time. Anytime a show doesn't sell, instead of being a professional 
and just turning up and putting on a good show for those people that did buy the ticket and made the time and made the time out of their day put kids in fucking childcare, made plans with housemates and whatever partners to go somewhere blah 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 excuse their permission slips use up a, one of their adult permission slips to go out and get fucked up and have a good and have a laugh and shit he, he won't even do the professional thing and turn up to a show and put on a good show he'll cancel and he does it all the time. Now, I'm not going to get on him for that because I think all comedians do do that. They all have a weird thing about needing to sell out shows. And if you don't sell out, then you don't bother turning up, which is bizarre. I feel like the whole part of being a, a performer, entertainer is that sometimes you're going to have fucked up shows. You're going to have shows that no one turns up to. I know I've had that plenty of times in my career, quote unquote, as a DJ. You put on a party, you put on an event, maybe one day, no one turns up apart from your actual friends, like 10 people. Then one day, 20 people turn up. Then another day, 50, then 100. But you perform for 10 like you would do for a crowd of 1,000. That's what you do. You always perform like that and kind of be the pro and do the show. But Brennan is known to cancel for less. So the fact that 400 tickets are sold is not a good omen. Is not a good omen in the slightest. And I'm feeling nervous because legitimately I paid $30, 30, well, 30 pounds, sorry, for tickets to fucking go to your show and it's looking bad. And to make matters worse, to make matters fucking worse, right? In this whole other issue, to make matters fucking worse, we got this clip, this this post from the Final Kiss subreddit. Take it from somebody who is connected with a lot of these venues especially the London venue here where Ben is performing, the O2 Arena. This screenshot says as follows. Cancelled Thursday, 22nd of June. Hi all. Unfortunately, this show has been cancelled. So already we're getting heads up here from insiders on the ground level saying potentially Brendan show London, Brendan Schaub's London show could have been cancelled. And I spent £30 on this shit. <laughs> I'm probably going to get a refund. It's going to take ages to kind of come through. Ticket master shit. It's just thirty pound tied up for nothing that I could be spending on fucking beers and ketamine. But whatever. But fucking hell, man. This guy. And we needed confirmation on this. So the dude that did upload that screenshot added some clarification because people weren't believing what was going on. And it sounds legit. And I'm fucking annoyed. The guy says as follows. Edit. I'm seeing some confusion amongst our chefs in the kitchen. I remember a star for the venue Bapa um, Dearest is supposed to be performing in. In the most loose sense of the word, this is a snippet from an email received by superiors informing myself and other members of staff that this event is no longer proceeding. Never did I attempt to imply that this email was from Braindab himself um, announcing, the sh uh, announcing he's not moving forward with the event. What is this resignation letter with South on the top? This is my explanation for the graphic. If you're still questioning the validity of this, what are we doing here? This is directly from the water well. I've personally been mewling over this and wondering if Papa could be this, this dumb, but it would. what's most likely to happen if I'm suggesting is that he's going to announce that there's a scheduling conflict and so he's rescheduling or perhaps relocating to smaller venues. Either way, Ax J. Ax J, sorry. Yo. The funny thing about this, right? The funny, yeah, exactly. Dark Web J. That's on you for paying to go see Brendan Shaw. But I couldn't not, Dark Web J. Give me a little bit of a bligh in that regard. Let me off a little bit. I could not not go. I had to go. I talk enough shit about the guy and laugh about him all the time on here. And I was a former fan. He's performing in London. The first time he's performed here in ages, I had to go. I had to at least buy a ticket. I had to at least make the effort to go. I can't not not go. It was too good of an opportunity not to go. I went, and I really actually legitimately wanted to see what he's like live, like in situ. I wanted to have a couple of, like, I was actually going to give him all the grace. I was going to go because that day I, I had off work for as well. And again, I scheduled it off from work. I was going to go to a bar. I was going to have a couple of drinks. If I was feeling a little bit lucky, I would have had a couple of bumps. I would have pulled up to the event nice and early. I would have mingled with some people or maybe I would have pulled up late after drinking myself silly in a bar and I would have come ready to laugh. I would have been a bit lit tipsy, wearing my sh poo shiesty mask so no one recognised me, right? With my hair probably sticking out, people will probably see who I am. And I would have been there ready to LOL, ready to go, ah! That back with that thing, they never, ah! Do all that fucking, you know, histrionics. I would have been ready to do the histrionics. I was ready. 
I was ready to fuck, but he wasn't ready. That's the thing. I was ready to fuck. He didn't bring a rubber. That's what actually happened here. <laughs> I was ready to go. I was ready to go. And now he's not following through. And the funny thing about this as well, this is all self-inflicted. This is all self-inflicted because Brendan Schaub has no business, no business performing at the O2 Shepherds Bush Empire. No business performing at the O2 Academy Glasgow. No business performing at the Ulster, um, Ulster Hall Belfast. Let's actually check the capacity for that. Ulster Hall Belfast capacity. What's the capacity of that place? Come on, bro. 2,200 in fucking Northern Ireland. How many fans does Brendan actually have? Okay. How many fans in fucking Northern Ireland does he actually have? Let's be real. Maybe Republic of Ireland. Cool. Conor McGregor fandom, UFC people. Cool. Fair enough. But Northern Ireland. Really? Come on. It's like performing in Wales. Who fucking knows him in Wales? Nobody. But if he's going to perform there, he should have been performing at venues in my opinion, in my opinion, with a 500 cap. But the guy's ego is so crazy, he wanted a look of looking like he's performing at big venues, like he's a big star, as opposed to doing a tour and actually touching the fans and actually selling out decent amount, decent sized venues and doing it that way. Because if he would have played at venues that were like 5,000 cap, maybe in London, push it up to like, uh, sorry, five hundred cap. Push it up to like maybe seven fifty or a thousand. He would have got. He would have probably sold a decent amount of tickets, or maybe limit the ticket run, the, the the drops, and maybe take off the Belfast run, do Dublin, do Glasgow, and do London. That's it. Smack them out. London, Dublin, Glasgow, or even just take away Glasgow and just do Dublin and London. Obviously, you know about Connor. You know that whole vibe. You love fucking whiskey, all that sort of shit. Tie that in in there. That makes sense. He would have probably been able to set out a tour going to Dublin and London. But I guess maybe in terms of flights and accommodation and his, you know, needs and wants and whatnot, made, may, maybe might not have made it make sense. But he has no business playing at venues with a 2,200 capacity, um, whatever, internationally. Because I would go as far as saying, I don't think Brendan could sell out any venue in America, in North America, that's 2,200. Even in his supposed number one market being Texas, I don't think he could sell out a venue. 2,200. I don't think so. Not a chance. So the, the fact that he thinks he can sell out that type of venue internationally is incredibly incredibly delusional arrogant and just devoid of any kind of self-awareness incredibly incredibly and i'm only ranting about this shit because i've been burned <laughs> i just realized <laughs> i'm crying about this shit that everybody probably knew beforehand the guys on the friday kiss subreddit were saying this from get from day go they were saying he's gonna cancel he's gonna cancel he's gonna, i was like no way he's gonna cancel this this is an international gig. He can't just pull a scheduling conflict because it's been on the books for months. This is not just some, like, what, who's he going to blame? Meghan Markle. Who's he going to blame? Philip Schofield and the This Morning fucking drama. Who's he going to fucking blame? Mizzy. He doesn't, he doesn't even like black people. You can't blame Mizzy. Who's he going to fucking blame? Who's he going to blame? Oh, it was, it's the fucking Lukaku and Meghan Thee Stallion news. It's the, um, what, Damson Idris and Laurie Harvey at fucking Beyonce's concert thing that set me off. It's a Tion Wayne drama. Who's he going to blame for cancelling these shows? He can't cancel them. That's what I was thinking. But it's looking like, courtesy of this fucking homeless cat that posted this screenshot a few days ago. And again, imagine, we're in, we're in June now. 1st of June. We're somewhere away from the 22nd. Nothing's been said so far. And I think some other people have been doing some digging in on Brendan Schaub's Instagram. And he hasn't been p pushing the fucking show, the, 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 the tour, the supposed European tour, which is funny because, you know, none of the country in Europe. But, regardless, but yeah, like the supposed European tour, he hasn't been pushing. 
at all on these social media. And if you know one thing about Brendan, he loves fucking ticket sales. He loves fucking selling out places and shit, allegedly. So the fact that he's not pushing this tour in any way, shape or form is maybe a sign that what this guy is saying is true. And I'm led to believe that it's true. I don't think he's just going to make this shit up. It sounds a little bit too delicious of a dish to be made up. Fuck, man. I'm out of 30 pounds. Damn. Damn this guy. But yeah, another another sign opportunity why you should never buy tickets ahead of time. Just buy them from resale if you actually want to go on a day. Because these comedians especially are always going to fucking flake on you. It's fucking crazy. Um, I know Tim Dillon does it a lot. Tim Dillon does it all the time with his fans, especially in North America. You just wake up one day and not be in the mood. <laughs> just cancel his shows because he knows he can sell out shows and rebook them. It's not a bother. So these guys cancel shows all the time, so it's mad. But the mad thing about it is this. So allegedly, it's looking like he might have bet on himself, according to this TFAT K poster, and he may have hired the space himself. And if he did hire it himself, the higher price to hire London, the, the O2 London Arena or the, the what is it, venue, sorry, what's it called? Um, Shepherd's Bush Empire, sorry, in London. The cost to, uh, to hire the Shepherd's Bush Empire is 10, it starts from 10,000. It's not 10,000, it's from 10,000. So let's imagine he has some sort of tie-in with Ticketmaster or Live Nation. Maybe he can get it down to 5K. He still has to sell a fuck ton of tickets to break even. And that's across five, was it four dates or five? Four dates. Jesus Christ. What possessed, I honestly do think Brendan has got people in his corner who do tell him, hey, don't do this. And he just says, nah, I'm just going to do it. Because who in his friendship circle would have told him, yeah, it makes sense for you. A guy who can't sell, who can't sell out like casinos, and like comedy clubs that are in like dive bars and shit in the middle of like parking lots. Like he can't set out those type of comedy clubs, hole in the walls, yet he wants to go on a tour to theatres overseas and sell out two, sell more than 2,000 tickets. And again, I'm, I, I'm a former club promoter. I used to put on my own events. I know how hard it is. And again, this is, I'm not even someone that's speaking from a point of like expertise. I only put on events in actual clubs. I didn't even go and do what other people do where you just hire a space and you put in all your, all, all your own equipment in terms of um, sound and shit. I would just hire out, you know, actual clubs that existed with already equipment there and just use their space. And that was hard enough to have already customers that go to that space, put in your own party and have them pay money. To, to come to your party is super hard let alone to be a comedian and have people turn up to like theaters and shit and go and see you perform and leave their home to see you do jokes on stage that they hear all the time on podcasts Woo! especially if you're not that funny Woo! it's insane that he would do this i don't know what possessed this man to believe that he could sell out a 2000 plus capacity venue and also what possessed him to pay a higher cost of 10,000 to whatever. Because I was I was thinking that there was some sort of like thing that they do with these venues tied in with CAA where maybe they offer it to you to do a tour so that you can look like you're an international selling act and stuff when you're not really. So it's not really coming out of your pocket. It's like a free run. I don't know. But I'm, I have a feeling that he paid out of pocket for this, from his own pocket for this, like something. And he's gonna, trying to recoup the, the cost on the back end with ticket sales and shit, because obviously if you do sell it out, you could make a lot, right? So, you know, if you sold out a venue, and again, they're not all the same price, but let's say you sold, you know, let's say you sold um, two grand of fucking 30 tickets, 30 pound tickets, you could make 60,000. If you sold 2,000 tickets at 30 pound a pop, you can make 60. So there is money to be made. That's not, that's not including all the VIP packages and shit, charging for meet and greets, merch. So, it's lucrative if you do sell tickets. But if you don't, fucking hell. 10,000 higher cost? Woo! So yeah, um, it's looking like... It's looking tough out here, man. It's looking tough. I can't believe I bought it. I can't believe I got it. Yeah. I can't believe I bought it. 
Yeah, Tim Dillon, sorry. Robert Henry, Tim Dillon, sorry. Not coming out tonight, guys. Too much cold stone ice cream to feel exactly. That's the thing, because Tim is actually sober. He's actually one of the people that actually believe he was sober because he's so much of a wild guy and a freak that if he was fucked up, you'd be able to tell straight away. So I actually do believe he just gets too full and f too, too fucking full on fucking food and luxurious ice creams and really nice steaks and just pigs out and just feels like ah i can't bother to get on stage like he just can't be bothered he wakes up one moment like ah i'd rather go shopping <laughs> you know what i mean fuck this shit i honestly do uh, believe that yeah but yeah but um it looks like Brennan Shaw's gonna cancel the show i've got nothing more to say about that it's gonna get cancelled